Hello and welcome to Zach 103 TV. Today we're going to be racing the Cup Series at Kansas. The NCCRS just went here recently. Sam Oskin slipped the Kansas races. Dripsy Shy looking to do the same as he's starting on pole. However, uh, trims go do to say that uh, the pole sitter usually doesn't win the race at Kansas. Uh, we'll see if that changes today with Dripsy. We'll see how it goes. Three races to the playoffs. No one's exactly locked in. No one's exactly locked out. But uh, next race will definitely... This race could definitely decide that for sure. Um, we got 41 laps out there. That's 41 points on the table for each lap led. Most laps led's 10. Pole position is 10 points as well. A battle for second in points to enjoy paints and dripsy is tight. And NH in that battle as well. NH not starting up here, but race ain't over yet. Just starting, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, other than that, we got a Cactus King in the booth for first time. And we also have Dark Rain. Reggie is AFK, uh, and he may chime in here Bobby and there if he wants to. Joined, by the way. Uh, Bobby Isaac is Hello. joined as well. Uh, so, Bobby Isaac in the Hello. broadcast. <laughs> Welcome, so, Bobby Isaac. Yes, uh, 41 laps. Uh, Y'all got any thoughts? Well, I think we may be seeing a great competitive race today with a lot of strategy. Maybe someone out of the blue could pull a, a lot, and maybe a good win today. Good luck. I think the ones we have to watch is some of the playoff bubble drivers. Barney Thresher is looking to lock himself in today after this race. He's trying to look with a strong momentum. Even though he's starting in the back, he's gonna he wants to at least stay out of DNF, out of trouble in DNFs. If as long as he can finish this race today, he could most likely lock himself in. I'll say a little note. This is the playoff race, you'll see some playoff cars. Uh, I don't have any like set look of some of them, but uh, you can see some of them in this shot here and in other shots as well. Let's kind of go ahead and uh, show off the highest starting one I think was Cody Forge throwing back to his 2018 uh, tell him, uh, Savage Toy Show 500 win in uh, back when this was a diecast series. But uh, Savage Toy Show 500 next week at Talladega. It's 57 laps. It's going to be the uh, longer race. And then Michigan to decide our round of 16. About a uh, couple minutes till the green. And, uh, yeah, we've discussed a lot of stuff. I see Zion starting right behind that. Again, playoff bubble, very tight. There's just so much mathematics going on. Uh, we're going to have to really start finalizing it up after the race, uh, and then we'll see how it goes. Again, I usually do points and whatnot. Two days after the races are done. Uh, but yeah, 41 laps. Hopefully most of it green. Martinsville last week was a word I am not willing to say. For uh, I, I really made me mad. So what did you say? Disaster. And, yep, it was a joke. So uh, if we do go back to Martinsville, which Dripsy Shibe did win, by the way. That he could also go back to back. Just another plop to the stats list there for that 54 car. Um. Uh, he could go back to back. Uh, no, the only person, only one person done this season that was Joy Pants, who won uh, the first race and the second race of the season, both being Crown Jewels, uh, or Permanent Patties 200 and the Jazz 500. But uh, other than that, I think we're set for a good race. 42 cars. The part-time entries would be LJ Toledo, Ian Styles, and Anthony McClure, none of which start in the top 10. We'll see how they do. And uh, again, that playoff bubble very tight. We'll go through it during the race. Got about 30 seconds to the green, or to the call, the engine starting. Shift Squid starting second as well. He won at Watkins Glen. Little nugget there. I think everyone knows this race is going to be very important for those at the bottom line. Yep. I think drivers on the playoff call line want to basically focus on the race a lot today, especially with the unpredictability of Talladega next week and Michigan on the line as the regular season finale. 
Anything can happen in any of these three races. Playoffs could be shugging up big time. We're going to find out here in a few seconds. Well, well at least with a wrangling season finale. But if you left into the playoffs, you're in good shape. They if can't make not, them a quick. You're not locked in the playoffs. You got a little bit to worry about. Here we go. You want to do the count down the green? And here we are. Green flag at Kansas Speedway. We are green in the throwback race. Shy off to a great start as he's pulled away from the pack already. And we got three wide for third. Three wide for third. And I'm going to get this aggressive this early. Could result in some catastrophic Out failure. Out Evan H against Chef Squid. Here comes Quadra heading to one. What can Quadra head do? As he jumps into fourth. Three wide behind. Drifty does have a nice gap. I don't think it's going to last for too long. Chef Squid. Evan H goes up the second. Chef Quid dropped the fourth. Shibe leads lap one. Still three wide mid pack. Shibe is starting to pull away a little bit. You can get a drop onto the back. There's no way on Joey Paints. Jonah. A high line. Ridge and, ooh, what a bit of contact there. I mean, so far, so good. Clean racing. Yep. Clean for now. Oh, I got that. One, two. Single file. Th about good. Single file throughout the top ten. Double file on back. But Drift C has been showing the way. If they're catching any. See, they can catch them if they alone to work together. Dead even. But they're going to reel them in slowly. Slowly, but surely they're demanding a little bit of a pack, old like single file train. Maybe they'll try to get some drive now, try to get up to the 54 car. Yeah. I mean, these guys don't have to work together, they're gonna have to pass them. They're definitely I mean, doing so. Scott has shown speed and qualifying, so it's no in surprise practice. he's dominating here early. In practice. I mean, they're slowly getting on them a tenth of a second. But as long as they keep that line together, they should be able to gain on the back of them. Yeah, they're gaining on them. Slowly. Yeah. Very slowly. Yeah, slowly but surely, they're going to get to his bumper. Yeah, as long as they keep it up this way. Yeah, and as long as they don't go double file or start battling each other for positions, they should be good. Now, the question that. is, if they do catch up to them, can they pass them? <clears throat> Kansas is a, it should be a multi group track, so maybe they can start using other lines like low line, the high line, middle line. It's one of these progressively banked tracks. Yep, and the draft also helps as well. The pin's on the right face at the right time. It sure does. Dripsy continues to lead here. They are, not... they lost a little bit there, but they but barely lost anything. You have to remember, every lap he leaves is going to be more points to Dripsy. Mm -hmm. yeah, we got a battle for we second. We got a battle for second. We got a battle for Brother second with Evan H. Quad. Oh, almost a battle. Couldn't make a the battle fills up pretty quickly here. Oh, they actually gained a pretty... I don't think they, they really didn't get anything there. I broke even. About two tenths of a second. This is now 0.46. Down the back stretch, Quadrahead may be trying to look for past second place on Evan H here. The two going to need to work together. They're going to try to catch Dribble. It's also yeah, starting to battle each other too early, even though Quadrahead is below the count, below the count line right now. Any points count for him get enhance his chances of getting into the playoffs if he can have some good races here. Well, the arrow block there. We see uh, they're also trying to. They're also pulling away a little bit from that twenty car of uh, third and Lexus hey, gaming. Uh, Seems like the pack's starting to split apart in a little. Not expecting <laughs> that, honestly. Uh, but uh, here we are. I mean, yeah, a little bit. Back up they're not really getting anything on them. Based on those, they... based on the scoring pile, on they ain't really gaining anything on them. It's lap ten, oh, wow. forty-one. Very right. clean race I mean, already. I mean, we got a battle for, I think, 
94? Yep, 94 gets yep. around the 9. We got a battle for 7th. Yeah, that 9 is starting to drop back. Yep. Yeah, you're gonna... It looks like he's about to be passed by Jonah. This is not... And then he's, he's about to be passed by Zine. He is dropping like a rock. There might be something wrong with that 9 car. Could be. I don't think there's nothing wrong. I think he did that at a draft. Or he Dude. picked the wrong line. You knew that. It's not helping him at all. He, he just left him on the floor there. He did gain some well, less than he had a battle against Crazy BDG. But. <laughs> not by much, but he'll lose that position. Yeah, he doesn't need those spot slots. He's able here. to get back in line, but. In front of his team. Long he's yeah, he doesn't need to lose any spots. He's currently in a fierce battle for that playoffs, that last playoff spot. I'm gonna say too fierce. He's um, yeah, cause he really want don't want to lose position because if he does, that is crucial. Definitely crucial. He needs at least try to gain more positions, but he's gonna need some help. He does. He's not the only one. He has a little battle for a second. Evan, Quad is. I mean, Quad is taking, but he doesn't have to. They don't have the speed. He's in the draft yet to make the pass. They're still. Well, I like to call it a slingshot. They're still. A little bit. They're still trying to find ways and pull away from each other. If they do that, we could see something different. But at this rate, it's just not looking good. I mean, seeing how these guys literally well side by side is going to help Dripsy more. It is. But it does give him more points by leading the most laps. Ah, uh, yeah, he's almost got that locked. The 54 cards needs to make it to lap 20. And we'll lock that, or it looks lap 21 would be the, would be the exact lap that would be. Yeah, they're not getting much on them. Ah, uh, they're losing time here and there. Yeah. Not much. I mean, Quadrant is trying, but... Battle Evan H for a second. Maybe Evan H may be holding up these drivers. Maybe some faster cars. A lot of arrow, a lot of arrow blocks. Either uh, that or dirty air. Dirty air. Yeah, I think I think a lot of this is because um, the adaptive speed control. I didn't think that would be a much a factor, but so far... That's what I didn't think either. I thought the adaptive speed control would just affect... Yes. Like when you're driving on the racer as a player. But uh, I mean, at the moment, Quadruped is peaking. He's trying to get second, <clears throat> but it's just that dirty air is keeping him behind. Yep. And obviously, Dripsy and that cleaner, he's just enjoying the Sunday drive over there. Yep. I mean, as long as they keep battling, this is Bailey gives it to Dripsy. Pretty much. Yeah, as we and know, you gotta keep in mind every position left. counts as well. I mean, unless we have some form of caution. Even These that. guys are going to need to find something. They're going to need to find something any fast. Even with the yellow, I don't know if it would do much. Yeah, depends. Eleven is unless, pulling away though from the one. under yellow, and they actually it actually checks up the field. That's what? the only way I can see anything. Real quick. I mean, the leader is pulling away maybe like three tenths every lap. Yeah, he's pulling away more. Zero point six. I mean, tire work can also be an issue here. <clears throat> Real tire work, a 54 would have probably started fading a little bit. See what happens. Yeah, these guys that. are losing a little bit more. He has just checked himself out. Yeah, he is gone. And, about, and once he clocks in this lap, he basically got, he's basically locked in for the most laps left. Yeah, that's, that's I a mean, big bonus. We're talking, I mean, could be chasing a points lead here after this. Clean air is important. He would become the third really driver this season it. to get three wins if he does finish this in the lead. Yeah, and we really haven't even talked about any of the throwback guys. I mean, a throwback is a little battle. Yeah, there I mean, is. What more can you do when you just literally... The highest running throwback car, pass. though, is uh, Zion in the 97. Yeah, there's seems like an issue where they can't even pass. Yeah, I think that's with the uh, adaptive speed, speed control, like, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if it's not like what in the pass at all. It's just put them in like a draft line. Yeah, that's, they're all single file. Look at that. Yeah, that is not what we're wanting. Yeah, this is not. I mean, it's the arrow effect. 
I mean, there's some but sadly, here and there. I mean, the nine car looks like he's trying to make a move on Crazy B B D D G, but it's not looking good. It, <clears> yeah, because of dirty air. I mean, he can get there, but he can't make the pass. Yes, definitely. And there it is. Gripsy has led the most laps in this race. Just absolutely dominating. I mean, he's pulling away almost to a second. He's actually. As I have a battle for, I think fifth. Yeah, man, he'll so take he's it. So he got some passes going on. Sixth. sixth. Now it's a battle for fifth. He's a well, fifth or sixth, actually. Teammate yeah, Jonah Burge, teammate to the twenty-two, trying 22, to get around that uh, ninety-four then as well. Then here comes Jonah. Here comes yeah, Jonah. Like the ninety-four is going to be though. dropping a couple of spots. Yeah, the only passing I've seen is in the mid pack. I didn't really see any passing from Quadruped. Now I think or, it, off of the corner, even... off the corner is where passing is the best best place to do it. Off of turn two is where I've seen it work. I mean, at this point, we don't get a caution. Basically, groups, you got this in the bag. I want to see some caution. I want to see. I mean, he almost got. A, no, he's getting also a second lead. I mean, it was a caution comes out. Oh, he's pulling away. As we may have a battle for second. Oh, we got a battle for second. He's quadruped for second. He's finally quadruped. This is this is a phase off for him. Now the question is, was Evan H the reason they were holding up? Maybe. Let's see. Could be, seeing uh, he's got no consistency. But Dripsy's just so far ahead at this point. Yeah, one on them. They're going to need him. I mean, him. he got a second lead, so that so there's no doubt. I mean, unless the caution comes out or Dripsy somehow pits or DNFs. He's well, I don't think we're going to have a caution. Out. I truly doubt we're going to have any pit stops. Yeah, the way this is looking, a caution looking very unlikely. Unless someone bruised up while making a pass, that's the only way I can see a caution is someone hits the wall, coming out of a corner while making a pass and gets into somebody. That's the only way. Or someone does a desperate move to gain a spot. They're not catching up to. Yeah, yeah they're no. not catching up to Dripsy. Dripsy is blocked out. Yeah. Definitely have to do a ratings check. However, uh... Uh, I did do the ratings were fine, but uh, this win will stand if uh, there seems to be any deformities whatsoever. But uh, if they do, if they do win, that is there's still lots to go. But uh, shoot, there's well, he literally drifting. Then... Oh, he's what every lap since the beginning of his race. Yeah, he has checked himself. I mean, Drifty is enjoying this because he knows each point he leads gives him a lot more closer. Now we're the playoff bubble. He hasn't had the fastest yep. lap either. He's only the eighth fastest car in terms of the fastest lap, but consistently the he is off the gun line. This yeah. is small thing. Larger pit with a 27.8, Dripsy with a 27.7. So 20, the 54 is still quicker. Uh, maybe many. I would say they managed the race very well. Fifth in the standings. This can actually this can actually prop them up maybe into the top. Three. He's actually fourth in the standings. Maybe this problem up. Maybe in the second if he wins today. Uh, he would. He's already in second, but uh, first would be where he's chasing already with that because the battle. He was only seven points behind second place prior to this race after that Martinsville he win. He could potentially be battling Barney Thresher for the points lead. Yeah, going a, into after the race. At this point, he probably is battling for the points lead. Because he's lapping leads as more points. Yep, hundred percent. Fortunately, this. And literally, he's doing what he has to do. Adaptive Luckily speed for control is... like Quadrant Head, this is kind of... It kind of helps oh, him out. Wow. Also, not saying it's time. I mean, because not really anybody's out, but with Quadrant Head running second, this could actually kind of cushion him a little bit, but not very much. Uh, this will help Quadrant Head. Yeah, this will help before. Paulus Jr. This will help uh, Paulus dives in there in 20. This will help Jonah Burridge. This is Jonah Burge, I mean, one of his statistically best tracks. Going on. This place goes on. We're not... starting to see it more consistently. Jonah and too. Daniel Pollock have been coming lately. They've they been have. moving up the pack. And, Dan and Jonah, 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 Jonah Burge. Oh, there comes Jonah. Jonah is going for it right now. He's trying to make some points where he can gain over the point line. Yeah, he's 41 he's... back right now. how important his race is. Yeah, he is, he is 41 back right now coming into this race. His teammate, Dana Paulus, on the other hand, is only 30 to the good. 
Us. Honestly, I think these drivers are probably happy there's no cautions in this race because knowing Talladega, it's probably going to be a caution fest. And now we got a bottle for out of wood, the big one. I don't think Talladega's going to be a caution fest, honestly. <laughs> I wouldn't say caution fest, but there's probably going to be a big one. Maybe. Well, we won't know until we get there next week, but at the moment, Talladega. Who knows? We're here looking at. The drift Plus, we have almost a two-second lead. We may have a battle for third. Yeah, there's a battle for eight. Uh, there's a battle for yeah. Actually, the nine cars starting to come back up too. Yeah, these uh, two Wood Brothers cars uh, definitely got the short end of the stick when it came to getting around some of those cars. There's a uh, Brad Stover, mm -hmm. the other uh, Wood Brothers racing car. The only one not up here right now is the highest starting one, which would be Cody Forge. He's uh, falling back considerably. I'm well, not too far considerably. He's still in the top twenty. You fell all the way down to 20. He's, he's yeah, really not having a good race week. This race has almost come to a close. As pass for the 28. He has been silently consistent as well. Wouldn't count him out yeah, either. Bradley Ream. So that would be Bradley Ream. And Bradley Ream. We're just starting to see a lot more cars making a lot more movement here in the mid-pack. But the 54 has like, checked out. Two-second yeah, lead right now. Lap he is just too fast. We have seven I mean, laps literally, to go I mean, at the speedway. There's points leader. I mean, right now he can just cruise. Don't have nothing to worry about. But then for the others, go. it unless, is go time. I mean, unless he screws up really badly at D, uh, like unless he blows the engine or something like that, or a caution comes out, which is very unlikely. He's got this. Yeah, that is truly unlikely. And two seconds back, he is. The only reason, I mean, the only way I mean, he's 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 two point nine. If, if he hits the wall or it like, gets considerable damage from hitting the wall, which is very unlikely, we haven't seen anybody hit the wall today. No, these guys are actually kept it clean for once, unlike Martinsville. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do not speak of Martinsville. I don't think Zach wants to listen to that any kind soon. No. Yep. Well, at least one of us enjoyed Five it. Five laps to go here. <laughs> but at the moment... It actually came quick. Oh. What about this race as... This is the pure domination show by Dripsy. From uh, the pole. This definitely isn't one to keep... This definitely isn't a great race. This... No, it wasn't. Especially for a throwback race, too. This is kind of... And none of the throwback cars are really one in the top 10 either. So it's Except like, uh, the 97, the design. Yeah, 97. I mean, mean yeah, the most people have to worry about the That's throwback car. Like we're literally worried about guys who are trying to get points here. True. We should at least focus on that more than just throwbacks. Yeah. I mean, throwbacks are good and all, but this is about who makes the playoffs and who don't. So we even need to focus guys, more on that at least. Are really not. They weren't really much for talk. It's mainly... I mean, Zion's there, maybe Quadratead. Oh, and uh, there's uh, Jonah. Jonah, Jonah, Jonah well. and uh, then uh, the crazy BGD in the 13. I mean, the way this race is going, I mean, it's, it's going to be a big point stage for some of these guys, but then again, that right. could change. I mean, it's a big point for Dripsy. That's, that's obvious at the yeah, moment. Yeah. He's definitely but the rest of the guys. Barney Thresher. Two laps to go. And it looks like okay. I'm just gonna say this right now. It's basically pretty much over. Yeah, there's no doubt in that. Down the back stretch, one and a half laps to go. For I mean, Dixie literally has a almost a three, almost second, a three lead. second lead. This is over. They're three and four. The white flag is in the air for Dripsy. An absolutely dominating performance from the pole led every lap, and now he's on his way to cruise for a third victory of the. Of his Cars Cup Series season tonight here at Kansas. I believe this would be EV going back to back, right, Zach? Correct. This would be uh, back to back. back to and third one of the season, yep. Three, two, three. Return three and four for the final time. Rip She Shine will win the throwback race at Kansas. Let's see what a top speed is at the line. 199 miles top an hour. Speed is 194.941. With a 3.56 second leader. leader over quad. The 20 so this actually has quad as well. Some good days for 7.9.
Crazy VDG, Bradley Ream, and even some of the guys like Jonah Bridge. They needed this. Oh, actually, Jonah Burge didn't actually finish as well as he should. Oh, wow. down the 27th. 27th. So this actually hurts him. What happened to Jonah the yeah. last few laps? Yeah, he, he got out of the draft. That's probably why. Most likely. I, I mean, this is the reason. All right, well, now we know uh, adaptive speed control is not the way to go. At least and, it went to yeah, Rackfest, least... and every car finished, so... Yikes, gift last shoot. It was a clean race. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. something we can I mean, look on the price side. Nobody got a DNF. Nobody blown up. Nobody hit the wall. Nobody crashed. Nobody flipped. Definitely not a keeper, though. So uh, we'll go on to next week. That get a uh, Savage Toy Show 500 and hopefully provide a better product than what we had here. Yeah, that was kind of... Well, guys, we'll see you at Talladega the following right. week.